And Zach, here we are, just a few days out from that World Championships. How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, surprisingly good, uh, excited. Yeah, it feels good to be in and around the team, finally. Yeah, uh, finally you're a little bit of a late arrival into this new bike. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you get out of the week? Like, as soon as an endurance happens? Um, I think you just get... For me, the main part is I get my body to feel fresh, I relax. So really, without training, I become a better athlete because I'm fresher and more relaxed and more ready to go. Is this heat new to you? Is it, have you competed at all in this uh, kind of weather before? Mm, I mean, this is really hot. This is hot. I went to, I was at university in Florida for four years, so it did get kind of hot. But yeah, I've been removed from it for a while. So yeah, I've been in the aircon quite a bit. Yeah, so Florida, you kind of made out there as an athlete. Tell me about, about that sort of that, uh, grounding that it gave you out there. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. I mean, it was, I don't know, everything I could have asked for. It, and it helped me with things like this, the heat, just helped me to relax. And that's where, yeah, I came back from there and made my first World Champs the year after. So a lot of groundwork done in Florida. Yeah, did that sort of experience of living away from home, I guess, and having to be a little bit independent, do you think that kind of affords you a bit of character as well to deal with maybe being, being away like this a little bit more, including me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably built my character for sure. Help me, I don't know, some people say it, you know, made me, I don't know. It's a bit, yeah, it definitely helped me, I'd say, yeah. Okay. Um, I was reading sort of about, sort of about your background, and I did see that you started, to be, your super trace career started in the back garden when you were jumping over hurdles. Oh, yeah, with my bros, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, I have two brothers, so we're like really competitive, like we play football, boxing, darts, anything we saw on TV basically. So when we see the athletics on TV, we just do laps of the garden and we had like a, a big paddling pool that we bought and we just do laps and laps, jumping, doing the steeplechase into that, yeah. My mum hated it, it ruined the grass and everything, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Amazing, and, and that gave rise to a sort of career in the mad discipline that is steeplechase. What is yeah. it about that, that crazy event that still kind of c continues to engage you to this day? Yeah, I did. A, I just love everything about it. I love the, you know, the danger, the thrill. Like when I'm running around, I still get scared at the water jump when I'm feeling tired. And you know, that's just part of racing. It's so good and attack everything. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned this has been a special season for you. And put down the, mm. five, the fastest, the fastest five hundred meter since 1994. Mm. So while accolades like that come and it was great, good performances to boot, how, how sort of how much confidence do you get ahead of a, what's a big year? Yeah, so that gave me a lot of confidence because it kind of came unexpected. Um, but the plan going into this year has always been the World Champs final. So I feel that just sort of propelled me into a new level as an athlete. And, you know, I feel like I'm ready to go up again. So, yeah, but it was really when I did it, I was pumped. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, running in the home crowd and even, I support West Ham, so I got to be in that stadium too, and it, I, I just love it, but yeah, it was just good to get a mile under my belt, my first time sub four minutes, so yeah, it was good, but I just love the steeple, so I'm happiest when I'm running that. That must have been a bit weird, sort of where you watch Marco and Ansbridge coming from the wing, you were sort of home, home Yeah, home I know. First, so tell me a bit about how that was. Yeah, no, so it's cool. So you come out into the stadium and I'm just thinking, you know, this is where Mark Noble brings the boys out. So, yeah, I just love it. And I, you can just imagine, because you know that you look up to these, well, you look up to these guys and you can just imagine what they go through. So, yeah, it's where I want to be. Yeah, yeah, where I want to be. Amazing. Uh, in terms of this championship then, what would you consider a successful outing? Successful? Um, well, I just know that I'm in, like, I feel definitely in PB shape. I'm ready to move to that next level and make the final. So that's what I'm going for. So that successful, yeah, successful would be the final for sure. Okay, how well would that set you up for an Olympic year to make that final and to be kind of in that conversation at the very top of your list? Yeah, so then that suddenly, once you start talking about final this year, then you think, well, you'd be silly not to then look again next year at the Olympics, you know, to then go up again, you know, then you're talking top eights, top sixes. So yeah, it would just be you know, the perfect runway.